Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's jump right into this interesting plant you see in front of you. This one is called Jack in the Pulpit, also called Erisema triphylum. And now it does go by a few other names. It may also be referred to as the Bog Onion, the Brown Dragon, or the Indian Turnip. It is a herbaceous perennial plant growing from a corm. It is a highly variable species, typically growing 30 to 65 centimeters in height, with three-part leaves and a flower contained in a spadix that is covered by a hood. These plants typically like nutrient-rich soil that is well watered. A good place to look for them would be alongside streams, rivers, and lakes. The flowers emerge usually late spring, followed by a cluster of green berries that will ripen up to red in the late summer. Now before you get too excited, these berries and the rest of the plant, with the exception of the root, is toxic. Before we talk about what the root was used for traditionally, let's discuss why Jack in the Pulpit is so toxic. The plant's leaves, berries, and corms contain calcium oxalate, which is a chemical compound that takes on the form of tiny, crystalline structures. This compound is the main reason why people develop kidney stones inside the body. Now getting this on your bare skin can cause irritation and ingesting the plant raw can be dangerous, sometimes resulting in choking or blisters. Therefore it is recommended to avoid touching any part of this plant unless you're wearing gloves and other skin protection. You are probably wondering, if this plant is so toxic, why is it even here? That's a great question we'll jump into next. Though this plant is mainly toxic to humans, it has a lot of benefits for wildlife, such as deer which eat the roots, while wood thrush, turkeys, and other wild birds eat the berries, which are, partic which are a particular favorite of ring-neck pheasants. Now back to the root. Jack in the Pulpit's root was used traditionally as, and uh, I'll list all the medical uses here on the screen for you. To traditionally, a poultice of root was used for headaches and various skin diseases, and an ointment was used for ringworm, tetterworm, and abscesses. But I only recommend using this plant medically if you are an expert or there is no other option for treatment. The only other part of the plant that is not toxic when prepared properly is the corm. The Native Americans would thoroughly dry or cook, then eat it in a fashion similar to that of onions or potatoes. But again, I only recommend trying this one out if you are an expert or you're in a last case scenario where it's either starvation or trying out um, the root of the jack in the pulpit. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.